Hello everyone, hello. This year is dedicated to Lili Nishmas, Rachaleya, Bas, Reb Chaim Tzvi. Okay, we're learning the Sefer Chafetz Chaim. We're in Klal Aleph. We're at the end, actually, of Klal Aleph, the first chapter of the Sefer. The Chafetz Chaim refers to each chapter as a Klal. And we're up to Klal Aleph, Seif Tes. The Chafetz Chaim here in this Klal is giving some of the basic rules of Lashon Hara. So let's begin. Seif Tes, Vida'od. And you should also know to Afilu in Betolcha Genus, She Gina Es Chaveiro, Gina Es Atzmo, Gamkein, Bezeha Genus Gufa. If when a person is disparaging, speaking negatively of somebody else, he also includes something negative about himself within the same context. You're pointing out somebody else's flaw. Negative. And you say, you know, I have the same, I have the same problem. Even if you complain about yourself first, you mention your own flaw first, then you add on, oh, and the other person also has this. Even so, you're still called a Lush and Hara speaker. It's still not allowed. That's what the Chavetz Chaim says. Just because you're including yourself doesn't make it uh, mutter. Okay. What's his source for this? Very interesting. His source is from Psukim in Yeshaya, with, with Rashi over there. Look in the footnote, footnote Tezayim. The Chavetz Chaim quotes, Mima shematzina b'Yeshaya, ki shamar oi li, ki nimesi ki ish tameis v'sayim anuchi, v'toch am tameis v'sayim anuchi yoshev. Yeshaya was complaining that Am Yisrael is a nation of Tameis Fasayim, and he also is Tameis Fasayim, that his, uh, his lips are impure, improper speech. Now, the Avshe Yeshaya, the Chavetz Chaim goes on, Lo ki vein chas v'shalom l'ganos b'zeas Yisrael. His intention wasn't to disparage Am Yisrael. Rak hayim is onen al atzmo, he was lamenting his own situation, etc. Still, still, He was punished, as the Psukim say later. And Chazal say, and Rashi quotes it, And Hashem was, was unhappy, in a sense. He was complaining that Yeshaya spoke negatively about, about, about B'nai Yisrael, al Banai. So Yeshaya said something negative about Am Yisrael. He also included the same negative comment about himself, and still, and still it is, and still it's also. But that's what the Chavetz Chaim Mamish, his source for this, is a Pasuk in Navi with, with Rashi. But, yeah, Yeshaya said that Hashem sent the Malach. Hashem sent, this, this, it's Rashi, Rashi, this is in Yeshaya, in Perak Vav Pasuk Hay, and Rashi over there quotes, Rashi over there quotes, that Hashem sent a Malach to crush the mouth of the one who spoke Lashner about Am Yisrael. Oh, and that, that was Yeshayah. So we see, and that, that's his source. The source of the, that if you include yourself, it's still Lashner. Okay. Now, okay, that's what the Chafetz Chaim says, and that's the Halacha. Now what's interesting is, what about the fact that Yeshaya was speaking Lashon Hara about himself as well? What exactly is the halacha there? What is the halacha regarding speaking Lashon Hara about oneself? This is actually a very interesting topic, and we'll, go, uh, we'll, we'll take it one step at a time. Okay, first of all, we should know that the Chavetz Chaim never says anywhere in the Sefer that it's Usr, to speak Lashner about oneself. doesn't mention it. And just the opposite. In a few places, by omission and by implication, the Chafetz Chaim sounds like it's mutter. There are several places where the Chafetz Chaim sounds like it's mutter. One of the recent Achronim, the Nesivas Chaim, brings this halach as an example. That the Chafetz Chaim is discussing that one that, it's, that, that if you include yourself in the Lashon Hara, it doesn't make it mutter. And the Chavetz Chaim ignores the fact you speak Lashon Hara about yourself. Why doesn't he mention it's also Lashon Hara about yourself also? 
So by, by omission, by implication, it sounds like there isn't a particular Avera in speaking Lashonar about oneself. That's what the Seif and the Chaim quotes. It happens to be this example, others argue. There are several recent Svarim on Lashon Hara, fabulous Svarim. One is the Nesiv Chaim, written around 15 years ago, by Moshe Kaufman Shlita from Bnei Bra. There's another Sefer called the Yad David on Chofetz Chaim by a Rav David the Marchant from Yerushalayim. So he points out that this example here probably isn't such a good source that one is, that there's no Avera in speaking Lashon about oneself. Because Yeshaya, the, the source is from Yeshaya. And Yeshaya here is talking to whom? Talking to Hashem. Now when you're talking to Hashem,